Uh, William, uh, in the game last night, uh, Mike Smith, you know, had the puck behind the net and Calgary ended up scoring a goal. Are, are your instructions when Mike's got the puck, handling the puck there, just to peel off? And Because Mike always passes the puck to, to the defenseman or up the ice. And in that situation, it looked like the puck bounced over his stick and they ended up scoring a goal. Yeah, uh, maybe it was a little miscommunication between him, him and me. Uh, I thought he was going to play. Maybe he thought I was going to come uh, get it. Uh, stuff like that happened in the game. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, when he passes the puck so well, are you always, you know, a lot of defensemen have to go back behind the net and pick it up. But in Mike's case, he likes to handle it but 80% of the time. So to me, it looked like, you know, all the defensemen, when Mike's got the puck, they just go to the sideboards and figure, okay, Mike will get me the puck. Yeah, like you said, he's a, he's a great puck mover. Uh, he helps the D a lot uh, back there with uh, making uh, making the right place. And uh, so he's he's really good at that. So it's it's great for the D. Derek Van Dees, Post Media. Hi, William. Um, I wanted to ask you about just the range of emotions when you see a teammate getting a fight and, and getting knocked out the way he, he did uh, and then getting helped off. And then in the first period, Dave Tippett said that you guys went in and, and it looked like he was okay. He was going to get by that. I just, what, what is that like as a player to try and play through that? And you know, when you see a teammate go down like that? Uh, it's never fun to see a teammate uh, get hurt. Uh, it's uh Jude has been been a hard worker all year and like he's a, he's a tough guy and uh um so yeah it's not fun to to see him get hurt and i want to ask you about when you, you go down a five defenseman because tyson berry gets hurt what was that like i know it's, it kind of screws up the rotation and you guys play have to play a lot more uh, i guess what was that like last night to try and kind of fill that void um uh, Stuff like that happens. Uh, I think we all have been uh, been in situations like that before. Uh, someone gets injured. Some some do play more than other. Um, you you got to play with uh, with different defensemen and uh, um, yeah. So I think we have all been been a part of that before, and uh, it's it's just a thing that ha that happened in a game that you you will you would hand handle. You know. So uh, yeah. Ryan Rashog, TSN. I just wanted to ask about Adam Larson and how much, you know, it helps you to break into this league the way you have this year and be playing with a guy that has the experience that he has and a guy who's playing as well as he is right now. Uh, yeah, it's been helping me a lot. Uh, it's been great playing with him. Uh, I think... Uh, we have had uh, we've pl been playing great together. Uh, had some good chemistry, and it's fun to see him score last night too. Uh, he had a great game, and uh, so it's, uh, it's it's he's he's been helping a lot. William, how uh, how much better do you think you? How much more room do you have to improve? Do you think like what? You know, you you have a feeling now for what it's like to be in this league and what it's like to play in this league. Do you feel like there's you know a lot more potential that you have as you grow and develop? Even though I mean you're not a young guy anymore, but you're still you know in your mid twenties. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm not setting like a roof uh, for myself. How how good I can be? Like then then I'm like done. You know, like I want to get better. I want to get like as good as it can be, and uh, I don't know what that roof is, and uh, just trying to get better all the time and learn new things, getting getting better at stuff. So that's uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Jim Matheson. Okay, Adam Larson scored last night. All right, now you're going to get your first NHL goal next game. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been trying, and uh, just gotta keep keep shooting the puck, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it comes tomorrow. Uh, Calgary really forechecked hard last night. Was that different playing against Calgary than previous games against you played against them? They were forechecked hard and were on the body all pretty much all game. Yeah, they uh, they dump a lot of pucks and go hard with uh, with the, with the forecheck. So uh, I think we gotta be quick down there and. Uh, 
the rim some pucks and and help each other down there and be be a little quicker and uh so yeah they uh they did a good last night with uh, putting putting a hard pressure on us thank you paul gazzolo Euler tv hey william uh 20 games into your nhl career now uh what would you say is the biggest learning curve um you've had to endure coming up to the nhl um I think I think the big, biggest thing is to to get comfortable in the game, uh, to get more uh, yeah more experience. You know you know what it's about. Uh, learn learn the way the the team plays and uh, adjust to that. And I'm sure you've uh, taken a lot of the lessons you've learned from down in Bakersfield and applied them up to the big club now. I'm just wondering, uh, Bakersfield's on an eight-game win streak. Are you keeping up to date with that, with uh, the club? And um, what did you take from those lessons now applying up to the NHL? Yeah, I have a few, uh, a few friends uh, down there too. So I've uh, been keeping track and it's uh, great to see they are doing well. Um, I'm the same player as I'm down there. So I'm just trying to to play the same, same game up here. Uh, yeah. 